Luke. Luke 18 and verse 1 says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men are always to pray and not faint. The title of the message is Being Inconsistent Can Be Problematic. Bow your heads with me. Almighty God and our Heavenly Father, as I speak to your people, I ask that your Holy Spirit would work through me today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Here we see in the book of Luke 18 and verse 1, Jesus says that men ought always to pray and not faint. Being inconsistent can be a problem. In this world, we can be confronted with so many challenges. Christians are not exempt from life's challenges. The great news is that amidst all the challenges and trials we as Christians are confronted with, we can endure through prayer. Luke 18.1 tells us that men ought always to pray and not faint. We need to ask the question, what is Jesus really saying to us? What idea the word always convey? Always here conveys the idea of being consistent. Jesus is therefore telling us that we must be consistent in prayer. Consistent in prayer means that there is no time that we should not pray. When we wake up in the morning, we should spend some time in prayer. Thanking God for keeping us during the night and, and to be able to see another day. When we are leaving home, we, we need to give God thanks and, and ask him to lead us and guide us as we go through the day. While we are carrying out our, our activities during the day, we are to be in communication with our Heavenly Father in prayer. When we return home, we are to give God thanks that he has brought us back home safely. And of course, at bedtime, when we're ready to retire for the night, we should be able to give God thanks for all the blessings that he has lavished upon us. And not only the blessings, but, but how he has helped us to able to navigate the challenges and the problems that we might have confronted. And of course, commit ourselves to him to watch over us while we are sleeping with the hope that he will wake us up to see another day. Jesus did not stop here by saying that, that men ought always to pray, which means that we are to be consistent in prayer. But Jesus went on a little bit further and say that we, we ought not, men ought to pray and not faint. The message that Jesus is given here is that an inconsistent prayer life is a dangerous, is dangerous and problematic. Jesus is basically telling us that when we do not practice a consistent life of prayer, we are running the risk of fainting. What picture does the word faint paint? We need to ask two questions. One, what really happens when a person faints? And the second question is, what causes a person to faint? Let's look at the answer for the first question. When a person faints, they become weak, dizzy, and they lose consciousness. We look at the second question, what causes a person to faint? The answer is, there are numerous reasons or causes that a person would faint. But I just want to look at three reasons why a person would faint or could faint. The first one is a deficiency in blood flow to the brain. The second one, is a deficiency in the intake 
of water, which as we know, would lead to a dehydration. And the third one, a deficiency in the intake of food. In other words, if you haven't eaten for a long time, you can faint. In Isaiah 44 and verse 12, it says the smith with the tongues both worketh in coals and fashion it with hammers and worketh it and the strength of his arms. Yeah, he's hungry and his strength faileth. He drinketh no water and is faint. Here we see that that is necessary that we, we feed ourselves and, and we take care of ourselves to, to maintain strength and, and, and to make sure that we, we, we adequately hydrate ourselves because if not, we can faint. And the same thing happens when, when, when we don't pray, we can become faint. Also, we look at Mark chapter 8, verse 1 to 3, and it reads, in those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him and said unto them, I have compassion on the multitude because they have not been with me three days and have nothing to eat. You see, Jesus was concerned about the multitudes that were, were, were following him, that they were hungry and had nothing to eat. Not only was he concerned that they were, were hungry and had nothing to eat, but verse 3 tells us, he says, and if I send them away, fast into their own houses, they will faint by the way. So it shows that when we are lacking in food and we are hungry, we can faint. But well, I'm here today to, to let you know that Jesus cares about us. And Jesus is making it clear to us that it's important that we spend time in prayer and, and living in these times that we are living in. If we must endure, we must endure through prayer. Pray is vital. Pray is important for the child of God. The child of God, we don't know anything else but to pray. We must pray at all times. Jesus is basically telling us that we need to be consistent in our prayer life. And if we are not consistent, and they mean that we are inconsistent, and that can be a problem. A life deficient of prayer is likened to a person suffering from a deficiency of work. A life deficient of prayer is like a person being deficient of food. A life deficient of prayer is like to the deficiency of blood flowing to the brain, which brings about a fainting spell. Therefore, when we are deficient in praying, in praying, meaning that we do not pray at all times, we are inconsistent in praying and we are bringing about a self-inflicting deficiency which causes us to have no strength and we become weak and we faint. When we faint, we pass out. We block out. We lose consciousness. We, we are not aware of what's going on. Not only do we become weak, but being faint also means that, that we are afraid at times. And, and sometimes, sometimes what happens is the problem of life makes some people afraid to the point that they don't even bother to pray because we are focusing more on the problem rather than, rather than to focus on the one who can solve the problem. But God's people are not to faint. God's people are to live a strong prayer life, knowing that we can call upon Jesus at any time that he is there for us. When we faint is when we cannot come to grips with agonizing and spending time in prayer and praying until something happens. Jesus informs us that we can faint and at the same time 
he gives us the solution to the problem to prevent fainting. So what I like about Jesus, he does not just tell us uh, 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 what the problem is, but he also gives the solution at the same time. The great news is that when we don't have, the great news is that we don't have to faint. Be engage in adequate, regular prayer and be consistent praying always and, and praying about everything and you will have a healthy, energetic prayer life. Pray. Pray and continue to pray because when we don't, we are opening ourselves to weakness. We are opening ourselves to the point where we will not be able to have the courage and we will not have the endurance to keep on going on. There are many things that can cause us to faint if we do not pray. We, as God's people, we must be consistent in our prayer life. We cannot choose to pray sometimes and then at other times we fail to pray. As Christians, we need to understand that as water is important to the body to, to keep us hydrated and, and, and to give us the energy that we need. And, and, and as important as the physical food is to the body to keep us going, and as important as the blood is, 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 is flowing to the brain to keep us active and, 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 and to keep us functioning, we need to understand that prayer is vital for our spiritual health. When we choose not to pray, we are bringing on deficiencies in our prayer life. We are, we are, are, are weakening ourselves. And, and then when we have no strength to pray, we are not encouraged to pray. And we become weak and we become weak and we become faint. And when we become faint, we lose consciousness. And we become unconscious to the problems that God can solve if we would only pray. My brothers and my sisters, let us, let us continue to make prayer a daily habit. Let us continue to trust God because in these times that we live in and any other period of time we live in, we are, are going to always need to pray. We must pray about everything all the time. Pray will keep us going. And in summary, pray at random. Be consistent and we will not think. When we faint, in a physical sense, we can hurt ourselves. Sometimes people faint and it costs them their life. And when we faint spiritually, we can injure our spiritual life. It can even cause us spiritual death. It's important that we as God's people follow the counsel of Jesus and we are to pray at all times and do not give an occasion where we can become weak and become faint. And when we become weak and faint, we cannot get the blessings that God has intended for us. So be encouraged and remember, we can endure life's problems through prayer.